Hello, D. I like how you change your names to a D's hot mess designs. <laughs> D, did you get your card? Hi, Terry. Okay. Seriously, is there 17 people on here already? You guys are fast. Oh, D, I didn't know that. Hi, Linda. Hi, Roberta. All right, we're not going to make anything today. I'm just going to show you guys some stuff. Some stuffage. Okay, so what I do is when I make these cards for Blue Night Rubber Stamps, I send them out to her. So I just want to show you, I just filmed the video on this one. So I think I will upload it tomorrow. Hi, Robin. Oh, I'm glad you got the card. Which one did you get, Robin? Hello, Denise. Oh, six people left. What the heck? Oh, thank you, Terry. So the color is super bright, and I didn't like how super bright it was, so I <laughs> nail stamped it with this teal color polish. So I only did it on the last three nails, and then I left these two nails blank, and I'm like, man, I just feel like leaving it alone. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Oh, Linda, I love, 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 love them. So I did this with the Arteza watercolor pencils. Arteza, Arteza, however you say it. And this is the one I just filmed the video for. So I think I'll post that one. Um, I don't know. Tomorrow, Sunday, Monday, who knows? But um, it will go up. And then look at this one. I love this one. I didn't film a video for this one. But I used the beach scene and the horses. The horses are new. Hi, Terry. Um, so I just love this one. And my sister goes on vacation. I don't know if you guys can see. I put a little bit of shimmer on the water there. A little sparkle pen. But my sister goes on vacation to like Chincoteague Island or Assateague Island or something like that. And there's wild horses that want, run around. So I just thought it was cool. And then you guys saw me do this one. All I did was add some shimmer to the water on that one. And then you guys saw me also do this one. So those four will be sent out to Blue Knight Rubber Stamps for her to display in her booth. And then the rest of these I'm sending to my cousin. My cousin um, helped me do my taxes the last couple years. So I told her this year I would send her cards. So what I did is I have all of these. You guys might have the same thing. I make all of these cool, funky backgrounds and... I haven't attached them to cards yet. So I'm like, okay, let's let's make some cards here, right? This one I did make a card. But I, you know, I haven't really done anything. I love this one. I haven't figured out what to do with it yet. So they're just kind of sitting off on the side of my desk. So I put them on card bases. Some of them are cards, but, I, you know, they're just kind of here. This one was alcohol inks, and then I used some foil on top, and then I tested out inks that worked, and I think this was archival ink um, with the little circles and spots and all that stuff. And then this one, you guys saw me work on this one. This was the Distress Oxide Sprays in the background and the new motorcycle stamp from Blue Night Rubber Stamps. Hi, Carolyn. Here's one you guys saw me start. This was the beach one. I started it and I added the beach accessories here and the fence. And I put some shimmer on the water. I don't know if it's going to show up or not. And then this one, she loves butterflies. So I thought this would be a good birthday card for her, but also getting this package of cards. I couldn't not give her this one. And then here's another one with the new barn I got from Blue Knight Rubber Stamps. And I put the horses back here. Hi, Renee. Uh, here's another one. I made two of them. This one you guys saw me put together yesterday in the foiling video. This one you guys saw me put together. This is the panther painted on with the shimmer marker. So it's all sparkly. 
Oh, there you go. See that? Bling, 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 bling. And then you guys saw me this one. This one was the one with the markers. And then this was one of the Easter cards I put together. And all I did was I added some flowers and I put some glitter on the flowers. And then this one's popped up, but it's kind of wobbly. So I'm going to send all of these to my cousin for helping me with my taxes and being so awesome. Um, but what I also did... is I didn't really put any sentiments in any of these because I don't know what she's going to use them for. I mean, I know what I would use them for, but I don't know what she's going to use them for. So to make it a little easier for her, what I did was I stamped out a couple of sentiments just on some white cardstock. I did them in black so she can glue them on the inside of the card or whatever she wants to do. So this one says, happy birthday, sing, dance, eat, and play, repeat. This one just says birthday wishes. This one you guys saw me pick up at the stamp show, Us Friends Always. Um, there's three of these that say thanks. This came out of that free little um, Ranger Letter It kit. I just thought they were the right size. And then three that say hello. And so those I all stamped um, on white in uh, on black on white paper. So I'm just going to send those and she can glue them on the outside or the inside, wherever she wants them. And then I also foiled a few of them. So let me show you guys those. Um, these are all foilable. So this one says you are kind of a big deal. And this one I did in the Seaside Cabana, like the turquoise foil. This one's the same thing, but this one is in red. And I cut it out with a circle punch. This one is in orange. That one's kind of crooked. Oh, well. These two are in the Pride Rainbow Foil. Let's celebrate something big and happy birthday. Uh, yeah, Carolyn, I will tell you in just a second. Um, happy birthday in, this is called New Year's Eve. I couldn't remember it yesterday when I was doing the foiling, but it's called New Year's Eve and it looks like a disco ball. This one is in a uh, darker blue. Uh, this is, I believe called sailor blue. This is more of that sparkly New Year's Eve, like holographic foil. And then this one also in that sail. So some are masculine, some are kind of neutral. And I picked these colors cause I'm like, man, they'll go with most of the cards. So if she wanted to put these on the inside or the outside, like I really think this red one would go good on this red card. The red foiling with the red alcohol ink. And then I liked this orange one to go on this motorcycle card because I think this is kind of masculine. And she could put it on the outside or she could put it on the inside and then put like happy birthday. Where did it go? You know, want it like this on the outside and then put that you're kind of a big deal on the inside. You know, so she can mix and match. I mean, all she's going to need is some glue, really. I think she can manage that. I think that the cards don't really need too much embellishing. So I'm going to put these all in an envelope and stick these out to her. And I will send some um, blank envelopes with it. So this is basically what I do for, like, my mother-in-law, for... Um, Christmas and stuff. If you have somebody that you don't know what to get them for Christmas, just make a, a set of about 10 to 12 cards with different sentiments. And I guarantee they'll use them. I mean, it's just a great, great gift idea. All right. Also, I did get some fan mail today from Bonnie. So I wanted to show you guys. I love this card. Bonnie, I don't know what stamp you used here, but it's super cute. So to me, it looks like she did Distress Oxides blended in the background there. And then she did the water um, splash method there. And then it says, believe in the magic as fairies do, and they will appear to watch over you. They dance in the flowers and sing songs of love. Spreading joy and laughter from the stars above. They skip through the forest, the bright moonlight, childhood memories 
Uh, I don't know what the rest of that says. Something, something, delight, see a fairy, make a wish, something, something, something. But I thought it was super cute. And then she put, um, see the wings? She put the sparkle on the wings. So thank you, Bonnie. I love this card. It's super cute. And she just says, you know, hi, thinking of you. Thanks for the card, blah, blah, blah. So thank you, Bonnie. I love it. It's super pretty. Definitely going on my wall. I love when you guys send me mail. Okay. In terms of black card stock. So I will show you what I use. Hold on. Okay. I use three types of black card stock. So the first one is for heavyweight card bases. This is the nicest black cardstock I found, which is actually also one of the cheapest. So Coordinations, I believe is, is it Michael's or Joanne's brand? I think it's Joanne's, right? Joanne's, I believe. Um, but it's super heavy. So this is what I use when I'm making my card bases, um, which you can see I need some more. But it's 110 pounds, so it's a nice sturdy black. Um when I'm matting the cards, like, where's the one that I put the black mat around? Okay, so like this, like I like a, a mat because especially a black mat, it just frames it and sets it off. I use inexpensive cheapy black paper. So this is from Hobby Lobby. This is the cardstock pack, and you can see it's $4.99. You get, I don't know, 100 sheets. Yeah, 100 sheets. It's just super cheapy black paper, but I just cut it down and frame off my pictures. It doesn't need to be anything good because it's a mat. It's not super thick. So that's what I use for that. Now, if I'm going to be doing anything like in between where I'm going to be kind of maybe using like die cutting or um, cutting out like... Um, sentiments or something. Um, I have this recollections black paper. It is 65 pound. Um, it's, it's just normal black cardstock. So I, I would say, you know, it just depends on what you're going to use for your paper. I do try to, um, you know, depend on what I'm going to use it for before I spend my money. Now, if I'm going to be doing something really nice with black paper, then of course I use my Stampin' Up! black paper, which I'm currently out of. Um, but I just want to show you guys the number one I reach for is this 110 pound for my bases and then using this for my mats. And then if I'm going to be doing die cutting, I usually use this, but if I'm going to be doing something like really nice, like foiling or something, and I need black, then I use the Stampin' Up! Black because it's just super smooth. All right. Um, no, it does not, Carolyn. Um, actually, I'll show you here. It's because I use my bone folder. So what I do when I... The secret to getting good creases. I'll just show you an example here. You can see here. I don't know if you guys can see. There's no creasing. Looks good on the inside and the outside. Um, and I'll show you what the trick to that is. The trick is, number one, it is partly the paper. But number two, it is how you fold it. So when you put, I'll just grab a piece of scrap paper here. Okay, so when you put a piece of paper in your bone folder and you go to score it, most people have a tendency to fold on that score line, okay? You do not want to fold on the score line. What you want to do is flip your paper over and flip and fold opposite of your score line, okay? If you do that, it really helps your edges so that they do not uh, fray and split. Okay, so it's not just from from the papers, it's from how you score and fold. So again, when you're scoring, you, you your tendency is, well, it's already folded there, so let me fold. Do not fold it. Flip it over and fold against your score line. Okay, and then you will get much smoother, uh, crisper edges when you when you and they won't fray when you do fold your cards. So that's that's my secret on folding cards and not having it crack. But Carolyn, no, I haven't had any problems with that paper. I really like it.
What else you got? I got to go upstairs and put Miss Leah to bed. She has a birthday party tomorrow. She has to give her away her, her little birthday card that she made for her friend. So I will upload the horse video. Um, I, I guess I'll make it go live tomorrow while I'm at work. You guys can watch it. Oh, I also wanted to tell you guys, you know how I picked up these, um, these markers at Hobby Lobby. These are the Spectrum Noir, but they're like three little mini alcohol markers. I picked up two more. I got Jade, which is Jade Green Blend, JG. One, two, and three. And I also picked up the coral or orange, orange blend, which is orange one, orange two, and orange three. So now I'm building up my little mini collection of alcohol markers. Why is that not zooming in? I mean, uh, focusing. There we go. Okay. Um, Arteza is sending me gouache paint. And I think like a little watercoloring journal. So I should have those next week. So I'll show you guys how the gouache paint compares to the watercolor paint and how it compares to their acrylic paint. Since I will have all three, we'll play around with those. I am going to see if I can ask them um, if I can try the new alcohol markers, because I guess those just got released. But you can check out Crazy Paper Chick. That's Alicia. Um, she just got those alcohol markers. So if you're looking for an inexpensive brand of alcohol markers, check out Arteza's and Crazy Paper Chick. That's her YouTube channel. That's Alicia. She's my upline for Stampin' Up. Um, she just got those markers and she did a review on them. So I don't have them yet, but if you want to take a look at a video, there you go. Um, Tracy. Oh, thanks, Tracy. She says she likes the mermaid cards. Yes, Karen, it is a lot of fun. I will tell you what, it can be a little overwhelming. I mean, I love making all of these cards and playing with everything, but sometimes I feel like obligated and I'm like, oh, I got to do this and I got to do that. But, um, you know, when I, when I do it and I really get into it, like the Arteza color pencils, those, the watercolor pencils, I just can't stop playing. And I'm like, I, I can't stop thinking about it. I actually like go to bed and I'm like, I need to play with this and make a video on it. Or I wonder how this would work and I'm going to need to make a video video on it. And sometimes I just sit down and play with stuff like I did with the alcohol inks here and I don't make a video on it. And then I get mad and I'm like, I should have made a video on it. <laughs> um, but I really needed to just kind of organize my desk and put some stuff away. Cause there, there are quite a few things left out, but I think everybody got their cards mailed. I mailed the last of them this morning. And again, Sally won the 8,000 subscriber box. So I sent those out to you, to her. Um, she's super excited. She's new to card making and that really warms my heart. She sent me a, oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Email, you know, and that really warms my heart when, when you guys appreciate, um, those kinds of things. And, um, I always appreciate you guys' cards when you guys send them to me. Like this makes my day when I open the mailbox and I see a card from you guys, like that's so awesome. So, um, it is not too late to join the mod squad challenge. The Mod Squad Challenge goes until Wednesday. And how that works is we are, what did I challenge? Oh, threes. So anything in threes as your focal image is what you need to submit to the Mod Squad Challenge. And um, I it randomly generates a winner, a main winner to win $25 gift card to Kitchen Sink Stamps. You know, like this would be a good contestant if you have three as your focal image. Um, and then I get to pick out the two runners up or three runners up. I forget. Um, and I pick those, um, the winners get posted on the following Wednesday. So you have a few days to enter that mod squad challenge.com. Okay. So all right, that's all I got for you guys. Oh my gosh, we've been chatting for almost 20 minutes. So thanks for watching. I love all you guys. When I get home from work tomorrow night, I'll figure out something else we can play with. Oh, I know what I wanted to play with. So I got these from the Stamp Show. And it's called Cherry Blossom and the Crown. And I was thinking... 
One of these looks so cute if, number one, we heat embossed them in black and then um, did them with not just gems, but Nouveau drops or like watercolored them and do them with Nouveau drops. So I wanted to play with these this weekend and see what we can make out of them. And I kept saying in my video yesterday, medallias, but I meant to say medallions <laughs> when I was talking about this card. I kept calling them medallias and I meant to say medallions because they're little round things that look like medallions to me. So excuse me for calling it medallias. I meant to call it medallions. A little bit of a difference there. But that's what I was thinking when I saw this card. Like it does kind of look like a cherry blossom and it is that time of year. So I wanted to think of something cute to do with these, these guys. I'll figure something out. But you guys, go make something with three in it. The number three as your focal image. And enter Mod Squad Challenge. I love when you guys put your cards in there. It's a good way to, you know, get your stuff out there and practice. And then you have a cute card that you can give to somebody when you need it. Okay? Okay, guys. I'm going to say goodnight. I'm going to put Miss Leah to bed. I got to go to bed. I got to work tomorrow. She has a birthday party to go to. And I will be back on tomorrow night sometime when I get home from work. All right. Good night, you guys. Don't forget the thumbs up. <laughs> Keep on stamping. <laughs>